Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that come in here with issues regarding their spine, their neck, their mid-back and low back. And what's going on with these folks is they're going about their day and they're having pain in their neck, their mid-back and low back because they're finding it difficult to achieve a neutral spine. Now, what the heck is a neutral spine? Well, I brought out Mr. Spine here today. So this is Mr. Spine. Uh, right here is the back of your head. Right here, this is the occipital bone. So if I was standing like this, this is kind of, this is the front. This is your front. And these are the spinous processes in the back. These are the bony projections you can kind of feel down your back. Well, this is kind of, if you can kind of see Mr. Spine here, he's got kind of these curves, okay? I know it's a he, because if you look at the pelvis, it's a, the pelvis is, you see this V-shape here? It's a he. And it's, that's, that's why I call it a he. Well, anyway, that's <laughs> beside the point. So you see these curves. So when we're in utero, the primary curve is this kyphosis. So the mid-back has, we, we, we all start out like this in this kyphotic, you know, we start out in this kyphotic curve. So there's just one curve when we're first in utero. See that? It's all just one curve like this. Eh? When we're in utero, it's just one C-shaped curve. And then when we start to sit up and we start to stand, this lumbar lordotic curve, you see this? This lordotic curve starts to develop. And then we start to hold ourselves up like the head starts to hold it. You start to hold your head up when you're crawling and stuff. Then the cervical lordosis, lordotic curve starts to develop. And then you get this kind of S-shaped configuration of your spine. So this is neutral spine. Now, unfortunately, we go about our day and we have this failure to achieve neutral spine. We're doing stuff, let's say we're exercising and our necks are like this, or our necks are like this. See that? This is not neutral spine for our neck. Same thing with our mid-back. If we're doing our, going about our day and our mid-back is like this or like this or whatever, that's not neutral spine for your mid-back either. What we find most though is finding neutral spine for the low back. So here you are and we find folks when they're doing their day or going about their day, they have a tendency to hyperextend. See that? They have hyperextend their low back and they're like this. They'll do bench presses like this. They'll do rows like this. They'll even do squats. Well, they'll start their squat in this extended position and then they'll go into a squat and then wonder why their back is jacked up because they haven't achieved neutral spine. So the idea here in this particular video is how do you fix this configuration and achieve neutral spine and basically eliminate neck and back pain permanently? Well, you have to be in neutral spine as much as you can. And obviously we live in a very dynamic world and it's not always the easiest thing to do, but it's very, very simple. Check this out. So you have your neutral spine is like this. So for your neck, for your neck, you want to be, you don't want to be extended and you don't want to be fully flexed forward, but you want to find a happy medium between these two positions. So this is full extension, this is full flexion. You want to be in a happy medium between the two. So for me, that's full flexion, full extension, and kind of right there, that's neutral spine for me. Slightly tucked in, just a little bit, just like that. So that's the optimal position for your neck. So if you're working at your workstation, you're getting something out of the cupboard, this is what you need to do, right? You wanna be in that neutral spine for your neck. Also, in addition to that, you have to make sure your mid-back is in a neutral configuration as well. So you, when you're doing your movements, you don't wanna be at your desk like this, you don't wanna be at your desk like this, you wanna find, this is full, this is thoracic extension, this is thoracic flexion. So we wanna kinda of be in the middle of the two. So right about there for me, see that? So when I'm working on my desk, when I'm doing an overhead press, when I'm doing a row or a bench press, 
that's the position for neutral spine for me that's going to enable me to not have neck or mid back pain low back pain now low back this is the this is a tricky one too just like the neck so tilt that down just a little bit so you can kind of see so imagine your low back or excuse me your pelvis is a bucket right so it's a bucket and if you tip the bucket full, full of water if you tip the bucket forward the water spills out forward if you tip it back the water spills back so here you are I'm gonna tuck my shirt in just like this so if I tip the bucket forward boop see spill the bucket forward now my butt's sticking out and now I can I can feel that tightness in the low back by doing that that kind of hurts so imagine you're doing your you, people start their exercises they're like this and they're rowing or they're squatting they're doing their lat pull downs in this and then they wonder why their back is jacked up there you go so they're starting an extension so this is extension and this is so this is pelvic anterior pelvic tilt posterior pelvic tilt and then you want tilt and then what you want to do is you want to find a happy medium between the two so there's full extension full flexion and I want to find halfway which is about right there for me so nice and relaxed in through there so then we want to tighten that up transverse abdominis you want to draw in and now I can bench from this position I can squat in this position I can overhead press in this position and man your back and neck pain you do that as much as you can and neck and back pain is are gone permanently so some simple cues but not easy in order to achieve neutral spine so that way when you go do your movements or even sitting at your desk you want to be able to achieve this neutral spine neck back pain gone anyway if you have any questions with this video, if you have any questions with neutral spine, drop it off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching, we appreciate it. If you're new here, hit subscribe, and when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button because that'll keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future. That way you can continue to move well and live well. Also, I know you know folks who are suffering from neck pain, mid-back pain, low back pain, and they're having trouble maintaining good posture whether it be at work or at the gym or whatever it may be, share this with them. Sharing is caring. It'll help them achieve that neutral spine so that way when they go to do their activities, their pain will be gone. Also, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, it lets us know you care. Anyway, we thank you for watching, we appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.